The Yinder program, we first heard about it a few months ago. It's a program to tackle youth crime from the ground up. Today, we News talked with Indigenous elders running the program to find out how this very worthwhile project is progressing. It's a determined and resounding message. We'll break that cycle. We will break that cycle. I promise you, we will break it. And we won't stop until it's done. Townsville Indigenous elders say there is simply no other choice. They're taking a tough love approach to youth crime and going back to basics. Go onto the river and totally uh, no electricity at all. No games, no... All, all we're going to get is their attention. And then we're going to teach them about everything that's used to be their culture. They've got no respect for themselves, but at the end of the day, mate, we're going to show them a way through culture and, um, you know, um, define their identity. The elders say working on the kids is only part of the solution. The main problem is we can send as many kids as we want into Cleveland or to jail. There's never ever any anything being done with the family. This Yinder program will be focusing on family also. The program is similar to Back to Country, a program used in the 80s to tackle the same problem. And it worked. The state government is playing its part, promising to fast track funding. Sometimes government just needs to get out of the way. OK, look, I, I, I get that we have to go through a process to apply for skilling Queenslanders. I'm asking that we um, fast track that. Today, the group met with one of the state's most senior public servants to discuss how to secure $300,000 to get the first cohort of 20 kids through the pilot program. The program could be off the ground by as early as January. Madison Williams, Wynn News.